Hey everybody, it's Teresa Scully here with Arch Pilates. I just recently wrote a magazine article in the St. John's Magazine on Spondylova's thesis. And in the article I do mention that there are flexion specific exercises uh, to do to help treat the Spondylova's thesis. And it is best done on a Pilates mat. So here are a few of them. I hope you enjoy. The first one is called pelvic tilt. Um, to lay down properly without hurting your back, you would actually start on your side and then roll onto your back like so. Now you want to start with the heels of your hands on your ASIS bones on your pelvis. They're tiny little bones you can feel on your pelvis, they're little knobs. And then you just work on rocking the pelvis back and forth. Now, the best way to really work on this is to feel that belly button pull into the back, pressing the low back bones into the mat. You want to imagine that the spine bones are imprinting into the mat, and then when you lift your spine up, you can see those little nodules pressed into the mat. Um, I move my elbow here, and you can see that I'm creating space. You don't want to overcreate space if you do have a spondylolisthesis but you do want to be able to go into a neutral arch back and then you flat the back here. Now the one thing that's very specific for me as a physical therapist is that with the Pilates pelvic tilt, we don't use the glutes a lot. We don't want to bang the glutes into the spine. We really want the deep abdominals to do the pelvic tilt here. So again, we go forward with an inhale and then we exhale and print. Be very careful when you move into the arch back position here that you don't put any extra stress in the low back. 